All right, welcome to section 1.2. Uh, today we'll, we will be adding and subtracting integers. Okay, remember to put your name up on the uh, part here so I know whose paper I'm looking at when I'm checking off notes. Uh, so first of all, our target is that we're going that we will be able to at the end of this lesson add and subtract integers. Odds are, you know, we've done this for quite a bit of our lives, but uh, just everybody needs a good refresher after a long summer off. Uh, quick recall that integers are uh, positive and negative. numbers with no decimal part. Okay, positive and negative numbers with no decimal part. So today we're going to start off by using a number line to uh, add and subtract and we're going to go over a couple different uh, a couple different ways in order to handle that. First of all, if I'm going to use a number line and I'm going to go 5 plus 8, uh, you know, maybe on here somewhere I put a 5, and I'm just going to add 8 tick marks that way and count out what they would be. Uh, so first of all, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, if you're having a hard time grasping how to add and subtract numbers, when I add, I go to the right. Okay, so I'm taking that trip that way. And 5 plus 8 is 13. Maybe you knew that, maybe you didn't. Uh, either way, it's a good uh, good visual on what you're doing. <coughs> the beauty of these number lines is I can make my scale and make my uh, you know, make my starting point whatever I want it to be. So here I have 5 minus 8. So when I add, I go to the right. When I subtract, I go to the left. So we're going to start here, and we're going to go to the left 8 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, go eight spots. I'm going to take that trip backwards. Okay, let's count out what it would be. Four, three, two, one, zero. Negative one, negative two, negative three. So I made it to negative three. That's my answer. Okay, why don't you go ahead and pause the video and try these next two? Ready, go. All right, welcome back. Uh, maybe you uh, went ahead and started 13 over here, and we add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, we're taking that trip. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, 13 plus 5 is 18. <coughs> and maybe we started over here and we went back 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we have... 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Okay. Using a number line is good when we're dealing with numbers and we're not really moving very far. I mean, up here I moved 8 one way or another. Right here I moved 5 one way or another. Uh, but that doesn't help me out very much when the numbers get to be a little bit bigger. Okay. Pretty hard to uh, move right or left 45 spots. Yeah, that's quite a ways. But we're going to go and use a vertical layout here, probably the way that you learned <coughs> at one point in your life. It's, uh, you know, everybody forgets stuff now and then. So the vertical layout, we just stack the numbers, making sure that the units are over the units, or ones are over ones, tens are, are over tens, hundreds over hundreds, and so on. And we'll learn maybe tomorrow, I guess, that uh, the decimals will work the same way. So here all I want to do is go 3 plus 5. Well, 3 plus 5, that's 8. 2 plus 4 is 6. And 1 plus 0 is 1. So I get 168. If any of these numbers uh, you know, were to come up to be more than 10, we would add the 1 up above. Maybe if we had something like, uh, I don't know, 127 plus uh, 35. Let's try that. 127 and 35. We're going to add those. 
Okay, 7 plus 5, well that's 12. So I put the 2 down below, I put the 1 up above. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 1 is 6, so 162 there. Using subtraction, we, we uh, tend to run into a little hard spot, uh, but we can still use the vertical layout. Okay, 3 minus 5, you know, when we were little we said, well, we couldn't go 3 minus 5, because uh, that would give us a negative number. We don't even do that now, okay. I, I take one away from the tens, I put it there. Now that's 13. 13 minus 5. Well, we did that up above. It's 8. And I can't go 1 minus 4, but I can take one away there. Make that 11. 11 minus 4. That would be 7. Okay. Go ahead and pause the video. Try the ones below. All right. Welcome back. Uh, here you should have gone 72, 13. Add them up. 2 plus 3 is 5. 7 plus 1 is 8, should get 85. 75 minus 36. Okay, again, we can't take 5 away from 6, or uh, 6 away from 5, I guess. Turn that into a 6, put a 1 up top, 15 minus 6, that's 9. 6 minus 3 is 3, you should get 39. <coughs> if you really don't like, you know, this doesn't really work for vertical layout, but just in your mind, some people get pretty good at adding numbers really quickly. If you don't like subtraction, no no reason to fear. We can go 5 plus negative 15. That means the same thing. Okay? And sometimes you'll run into this case where you're adding a negative. You can just make that subtraction if you like subtraction. You know, I can visualize this out. I start at 5, move back 15. That's going to put me at negative 10. Okay? Same thing here. Maybe I don't like subtracting that. Uh, 174, and instead of uh, instead of subtracting 37, maybe I want to add a negative 37. Okay, and then I can get a better visual on it and know that when I add that uh, negative 37, I'm going to get 137. Okay. And sometimes people just like to do that, add the opposite a little bit more. Okay, let's go to the next page. So what do I do when there's too many negatives? Oop, right there. Okay, what do I do when there's too many negatives? So here I have, uh, I think the computer kind of messed this up a little bit. This is actually supposed to be, and you can rewrite it this way, negative 5 minus a negative 7. <coughs> Sometimes you'll see this one in parentheses, uh, just so people know that you're not adding there. Uh, what we learned back in the day was the bam bam, or turn the two negatives into a positive. You know, double negative means a positive. Uh, I am not not going to go to the store. Probably means I'm going to go to the store. Okay, negative five plus seven. So I start at negative five, go four, and go to the right seven, and I will land at. Two. Same thing here. I get that bam bam going on. I start at negative 15. Go to the right 13. I didn't quite make it to zero. Okay, I'm going to land at negative two. Same thing here. We get that bam bam action going, and it makes this problem actually pretty easy. <coughs> 72 plus 28. If you don't know what it is, use a different method. That 8 plus 2 is 10, 7 plus 2 is 9, add that 1 from the 10, and we get equals 100. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and try the next few. All right, welcome back. Uh, hopefully you had a chance to do those. Another way to, that I've seen people do the bam bam is since there's already parentheses here, this kind of looks like a plus sign, turn it into a big plus sign there, and then we just kind of ignore uh, that parentheses over there. Either way, whatever works for you. Uh, 4 plus 5 is 9. 1 plus 3 is 4, so we get 49. Okay, turn it into a big plus. And we should have something like uh, negative 74. Go to the right, 39. And we get negative 35. <coughs> Excuse me. And last but not least, Got a big plus sign there. Ignore that last parentheses. Uh, negative uh, 732 
plus 547 is negative 185. Okay, if you're ever unsure about any of those, you can check them with the calculator. But if you can save time without using the calculator, that's awesome. Summarize your notes, get the application done, get everything checked, and try that master challenge. See you later. Keep the scientific, keep the law